chords. No. Ugh. There will come a day with no chords, man. Guys, I got to introduce you to something. Right here is my new MIDI controller. Yes. Look at this. PlayStation 3 is going to be my MIDI controller for today. We're going to be making music with this thing. Kind of been like a little project I've been doing on the side, but uh, I've been wanting to learn um, Max for Live. And there's not really... What I've noticed is there's a lot of uh, information with Max for Live, but there's not a ton of um, ways to learn it uh, really well. But um, I tried my best and I made a cool patch that allows me to make music with this PS3 controller. Uh, so we're gonna try it out today and see how it goes. Um, I'll show you the patch and everything too. So let's get it started. All right, cool. So let me show you guys this um, this patch real quick that I made for the uh, PS3 controller. So uh, if we look down here, this is the patch that I'm working on right now. Uh, all of these like black boxes with the, uh, with the letters and numbers in them, those are all the mappable buttons on this, PS this uh, PS3 controller. Um, so when we click those, it triggers some of our drums and, um, that's the way I'm setting up this, this patch right now is to have it work with the Ableton drum pad. Uh, so all of these buttons are able to trigger something on the, uh, the drum pad over there. Uh, also we, if you look at those black boxes, we actually can control, um, the X and the Y pads there with the joysticks. So I mapped those also. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with this thing. Basically, we got to start it by choosing it in this menu right here. So the PS3 controller, um, there's a MIDI flush button that I did in case the notes get kind of weird and they sometimes do, um, but everything's working right now. There's a little delay in OBS. Let me see if I can fix that real quick. So I, I tried to fix it on OBS, but there's still a little bit of a, a, a lag, uh, but I'm gonna try and play with it regardless. So like, we have this loop and I have the metronome on, so let's see. Ah, that delay is killing me, man. But uh, you get the idea. It's kind of cool to play on this, man. My, all of those hours, all of those hours I spent playing video games. Look at this. It's paying off, isn't it? Let me see if I could play some drums in real quick. All right. Now, usually I don't blame the... Uh, oh, it didn't even record. What? Do I have to do like some weird MIDI mapping thing maybe? Oh, let me try this. And then the MIDI should be coming in here. So let me see if the MIDI records on a different channel. That was a nice little addition. I didn't mean to do that. Well, see, so the MIDI's coming in, but it looks like it's not recording on this channel. Let me try it one more time. I blame the lag. I blame the lag. It's not recording on the instrument channel. So it the MIDI is coming through, but it's not recording from the instrument channel. What I think I might need to do is bring this MIDI effect, the PS3 controller MIDI effect, to a different channel, and then uh tell so this will be always name your stuff man always name your stuff because you're gonna regret it ps3 controller this is gonna be drums right so we want the drums track to listen to the ps3 controller midi inputs which then it should it should uh trigger the drums still um and record the MIDI in, but let me see if I'm right. Okay, so the MIDI did record, but look at how off I am. <laughs> this is supposed to be like here, man. This is... You know, like normally I'm like within this kind of a zone if I'm going for like a laid back feel, but this is all input delay right here, man. Don't blame me. Don't blame me. It wasn't me. 
well, we can try and fix that, and maybe I can show you what I was trying to go for. Uh, let's just command U that B. That's closer to what I was going for, but you know, I, I want to add my own little natural swing to it, but it's fine. It didn't work. It is what it is. This is what it's going to take for now, but it's only for the video. There's not, there's not too much input lag from the PS3 controller to, um, to Ableton at all. Like I know I can play this when I'm not filming the actual video. This goes really well. <laughs> Let me try some like effects, like some parameters. Let's, let's drag in some audio effects. Let's do like, um, oh, I'm so down for a delay. Uh, so there's this cool delay trick we can do. Let's just, um, let's put it to hundred percent and oh yeah you hear that put on some headphones right now man put on some headphones if you don't have some on already and just listen to what it's doing um in the headphones so you hear that little pew i want to map that to this knob um so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to, oh, but can we, can we map across different, um, ah, these are different channels. I don't know if we can map across different channels. We can actually map these parameters with these, uh, with this map button right here. So I intentionally did this. Uh, so the time for the right channel is, um, being controlled by uh the x axis on the left joystick uh and then we can also do um the y axis to a different something right here uh actually we can change that right here on display mapping so we can switch between these uh to decide what thing we're going to map you see three four show up there so lx was first uh, let's do RX right now. Let's put this one on the other time channel and see what happens. So uh, we'll go here and oh, we're already here. <laughs> uh, map to this parameter. So now uh, the X axis on the right joystick is affecting that time parameter. So now when we hit our drums, right, uh, let's start all the way to the side. Um, we get no sound, which is exactly what I wanted, of course. Uh, that's how we do it. Oh, that's why. For some reason, the inputs went went to uh, no input. But all ins. Hello. Okay. Well, there's. The oh, oh, I know why. I know why. This is supposed to be PS3 controller. I don't know why that happened. Okay. Okay. So we're triggering this, right? And then um, we can go. Oh, dude, this is so crazy. Uh, let's record some of this. This is wild, man. Uh, let's do like, um, what should we call this? Um, we're gonna call these, uh, no, let's not be ridiculous. We're not gonna call that whatever the, whatever this is. Let's call it something real. Let's call it something like, uh, nailed it. The audio is gonna come from the drums channel here. I'm going to monitor that here and let's go ahead and hear what we can do. We're just going to make some sounds. So this is a little bit of technical sound design, very technical, um, with just one uh, little effect right here. So let's see what we can do with these sounds. Actually, I might even scroll, th scroll through some of my kits right here because like I have different sounds in this one drum rack right here. Um, Oh, dude, that's so cool. So we, we, I just have a ton of different like sounds across the board here. And we'll go ahead and just play with them and see what kind of sounds we get. PS3 future drum sounds. Oh, that sounds way more butter right there. More butter. Mm. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. 
nothing perfect, bro. Let's stop messing around, man. Stop. Now would be a good time for that weird little mini pickup to happen. Let's do this without the without the. Did you hear that? Dude, these are so sick. Let's get some different sounds. Oh, by the way, I want to also add that the PS3 controller has um, like tilt sensors and gyroscope sensors so at some point i want to i want to figure out how to program the the tilt sensors to be some sort of like parameter control Ooh, can you imagine that uh that'd be ridiculous we have some really cool sounds here we just recorded all of this look at this what we could do from here is kind of chop up all these sounds all the cool ones that we have Let, let's listen through uh, and let's actually be productive for the last like five minutes that we have. All right, so let's do this um, Everybody get serious right now. Just get real serious one little trick that you guys should think about too when you're doing like random sound design things like this uh, You can actually like some of these sounds might sound really cool on just one uh, side like left or right so um, I would consider that when you're working this through uh you know, if you want a separate channel instead of the stereo channel, you can actually split those like, um, you know, you could pick the left channel using the utility in, uh, in Ableton, which is really cool. Uh, you know, we're just listening to the left and that'll mono it for you too. This is the right. See, and then you have stereo, which is like these two crazy things going on. Um, and so, you know, I, I actually might want to do that right now because there's some things on the left side that I like more than the right. Um, and they're like, they're like isolated incidents, in my opinion, that just happen to be in two. Who cares? All right, let's just do it. See, I like that. That was a cool little rise. I'm going to keep that. Boom. Uh, let's make a new channel and just call this like uh, sound. <laughs> something just to like have a store there we go so we're gonna put that one in the store a, Ooh, that was cool i love that rise right there that's a really cool rise i don't i don't know what it is about it i it's not like i would necessarily use it in my production it's just it's, it's a cool sound i might i might we'll see that's kind of neat i like that i want to say i i've been i've been wanting to make some like trans transition sounds for my youtube channel too so i'm going to name that transitions all right keep going oh did you hear that rise yeah so i'm gonna actually take that that little beginning piece that or like that or like i don't you know what i'm talking about it's this yeah I can't do it, man. It's almost like I have to keep it in order to finish the sound off or else it's just going to sound weird um, like this. Watch. I don't know if I want it like this. Yeah. It's OK. I'll, I'll keep it like that because I don't really like the other pieces anyway. That's cool. I like that. Let's keep moving. That's kind of cool. Oh, you hear that? That's cool. I like that. I like that. Uh, yep, we got to keep that one too. Uh, let's call that a little transition sound too. Or like, let me see. Or maybe like a menu, like a button press. Menu button press maybe? Menu button press. Like if you were playing a video game, right? You And you heard this. I feel like that'd be like either like a button press or or like um like a like an interface button press. I, I don't know. I don't know. That's cool though. We're, we'll keep it for later. Ooh. 
Ooh. That's really cool. Very anime. Let's keep that. We'll just keep that whole piece too. Huh. Would you use that? I don't think I would. That's kind of cool. That's like a very long, kind of odd transition there. Uh, I hit my mic. This sound kind of reminds me like in the skate videos where like um, a slow-mo piece happens, like the banger, and just that slow-mo pew. Yeah, so we got to keep that. So let's call this like slow-mo skate vid sound. Let's do the, let's do the right side now. Another channel and we'll call it sounds R. This will be sounds. That was kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I like that a lot. Very Amine. Let me see where that rise, because I remember there was a rise that I really liked. Yeah, that's perfect. I, I like that. That's Ooh. Yeah, that's cool. That's like a very aggressive, uh, like, record stop. Not so. Yeah, I'll keep something like that. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We went through all the sounds. I mean, you know, I could probably pick out a few more outside of all that, but this is good to me. At this point, I'll just um, freeze the track, uh, flatten them, and this should be now just the mono left side, and then the right side's on this side. and. And that's just a quick way, you know, if you have a stereo file in Ableton, you know, it's kind of nice in like Pro Tools or something, you could pick the left or right channel to import or um, or split up. In Ableton, you can use the utility and just pick the left side, bounce the track out, and you have the whole left side. Or, or uh, what I mean by bounce is you can freeze the track and then flatten it and, you know, then you can have what we just did right here. Um, at this point, I'm just going to um, organize these sounds, put them in folders, and put them into my user library in Ableton. But that is it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for checking it out. Make sure to leave a like on the video. Um, subscribe to the channel as well. I'm going to be doing a ton more with this uh, PS3 controller and uh, if you guys are interested in knowing how to make it I am considering doing a tutorial um, on how to do it as well as maybe making a download of for it so if you guys are interested in that please let me know um, once again my name is in Tempest I will catch you guys later in the next episode see ya